I've ridden so many of these cheap entry-level e-bikes, but this one, bar none, is the best. And I wanna tell you about it, so let's talk about it. Hey guys, Josh here again with Daily Mountain Bike Rider, and it's been a while since I posted a video. I've gotten more of these entry-level e-bikes, and as you guys know, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with these things, but I've come to feel that these really are great for the casual rider who wants to ride around their neighborhood, maybe at a campsite, or maybe even ride this thing every day like I see so many people do in California. Now, I get a lot of these e-bikes, and whenever I find one that truly is above the rest, that's the one I feel like I want to tell you most about. And this bike by Revy Bikes is exactly that. It's called the Rebel 2. Um, they are not paying for this video. They did send me this bike for free, but I don't guarantee I'm gonna make a video, but this one is super worth it. So let me just tell you very quickly why I think you should consider this bike over an uh, Avantin, Adventin, whatever they're called, and any other cheap e-bikes. So five main things. First, the style of this bike. Everybody who's seen this bike um, says, wow, that thing looks really good. I love the paint job. It's got the little bit bigger front and rear tires, and yet they're smaller diameter, so you get a little more suspension, and yet it feels really good. It is foldable, which means you can easily put it in the back of an SUV or your car. Um, it makes it you don't need a huge cumbersome bike rack. Along with that, it's got different power modes. The uh, biggest one goes up to 30 miles an hour, which for this bike is a little hairy and sketchy, but it works. Um, and overall, it's just a really solid build design. It doesn't feel cheap, even though you have the same um, Bafang style rear hub motor, Shimano seven speed drivetrain, hydraulic disc brakes, were, which are a nice touch. All right, number two thing about why you should get this bike is, I already mentioned it, it's the power. This thing puts out a ton of power. It has a huge battery right here on the back. Um, for the size of the bike, it performs super well. So you're getting great power output for the bike that you buy. And the third thing, the price. These right now I think run for $900, but if you buy two, it's 50 bucks off, or 100 bucks off total. So all that to say, if you buy two of these, they're 850 bucks each shipped to your house, and you can't find a bike that has a better price than that. With number four, great customer support. I actually had a small issue with this in the wiring, and I knew right away because it said there was an error code, and I went and contacted the company on my own, outside of my daily mountain bike rider channel and just said, hey, I have a problem, and they helped me fix it. They sent me the right port part. It was easy to install, and that's awesome. And number five, this comes with so many extras. You get saddlebags for the back. You get pegs back here so that somebody else can sit on the back of this bike and ride on with you, which is actually hilarious and works and really fun. Uh, you get a bike lock. You get everything you need to clean your bike. Overall, the value is just here. And again, the small touches make the difference. This is a really comfortable saddle that you don't actually have to replace. Um, this seat adjusts for somebody much taller than me. I'm 5'9". Um, it could probably go up to somebody who's maybe 6 foot or 6'1". Um, and yeah, I mean, everything from the touch points, the pedals, all the above. This is a bike worth considering if you're in the market for a cheaper e-bike. I don't even know if I get any like affiliate link or cutback for this. Maybe I should. Maybe Revy will send me another one because I actually really like it. You know what time it is. Don't spend too much time watching a guy talk about entry-level e-bikes. Get out there, ride your bike, and make sure you do it every day.